Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6. We are now officially halfway through Vlogmas. I'm really not feeling well today, so sorry for the low energy. But as kind of a last minute video, I decided that I'm going to bring back a trend that was going on a few months ago, I think. I want to say a few months ago. Um, people doing their makeup under an LED light and I decided that it would be fun to do one side under red and the other side under green light just to see how well I do. I think I'm going to start with red which I'm going to have to turn off this light that I always use to front light me because obviously I can't see any of the other colors so I'm sorry if this is kind of a dark video, if you can't really see all that well. So I have two palettes. I have my James Charles palette, which I always use. And then I have this, um, I have this Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I've never, I've only used this a few times, so I'm not really familiar with all of the different colors. I'll show you under, because you can see on the package. So when I turn off the light. You really can't see what the different colors are. Let me put it in green too, just so you can see what it looks like. It's a bit of a different vibe. Don't really know what's going on still. So yeah, that's what we're working with. Once I'm going to start with the red light. I think everything's working against me with this one. It's dark. I'm not wearing my glasses, so my vision is blurry. I also can't see, like, differentiate between colors very well. So I think I'm going to do the red with this palette. I don't know what kind of vibe I'm going to be going for, but I'm just going to pick some colors, I guess. Because I really don't know what's going on. I can't even tell if I have, like any makeup or anything on these brushes. In the BH Cosmetics palette, I think I'm going to start um, I think I'm going to start with this color right here. I know it goes in like rainbow order but I really don't know what all the different colors are. It literally looks like I'm putting on nothing. I guess this is a surprise for you guys too because you don't know what I'm putting on and what this looks like until I turn on my light again. I think I'm going to take this color. You can barely even see that. I'm gonna take this color. Looks like a nice little transition color. Pretty dark, but okay, that's definitely showing up. I'm just gonna blend. Just keep on blending, right? If I blend enough, all of my issues go away. And then I think I'm going to take this color that's right underneath of the last one that I used. I guess put this out here. It just looks like I have a black eye in camera. Now I'm going to cut my crease. Okay. I got that done. Now when I'm looking at this palette, I can kind of tell what has shimmers and what doesn't. I think I'm going to go in with this middle I use a mix of them. Probably gonna regret this one. It literally looks like I'm putting on nothing. I have no idea how much liner, or not liner, how much of that I put on just now. I really can't tell. I guess that means we can move on to the next eye. I really can't tell what we've got going on here. I don't know if I'll be able to see it once I switch the lights, but I'm going to switch my palette to the James Charles one for this eye. So, three, two, one. 
nope I still can't see and now it looks like there's absolutely nothing on it looks like I did practically nothing to the side I think this is even worse than the than the red I really can't see oh god this is bad it all looks green like literally the entire thing looks green. So with this, I kind of know what's going on with the colors. Like, I know this is white, a bunch of browns, and then black. I know there's green, blue, pink and purple over here. I know red and orange is up here. Um... But that's about it. Like, I really don't remember the location of every single color. So, the only ones I'm absolutely sure about is this is white and this is black. I think I did, like, greens and blues, I want to say, for this eye. But I can say with full confidence, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Maybe I'll go for, like, a more purple vibe. Which would mean I have to do red. Which I'm pretty sure this is red right here. I'm going to start with this furthest bottom right color right here. This already looks dark. Dip into what I think is red. And just put that underneath of that color. It looks like I've done nothing. I'm going to dip into... This color, it looks pretty dark. And like I did with the other side, I'm gonna put this underneath of that and this outer section. I wonder how badly blended this is. It's a little distressing. I don't know what's going on. It's starting to look like I've got a black eye again. That's perfect, exactly how I wanted it. I'm gonna cut my crease again. Yeah, this is a lot worse than the red. I can't see hardly anything at all please do not judge my makeup off of this video alone if you want to see me do actually good makeup please go look at my last videos or go look at like my makeup instagram page because this is not a true representation of my skills i promise now this is a problem. Once again, I can tell what's shimmery and what's not. I have no idea what shimmer is where and what the color of the shimmer is. Like, at all. Maybe I'll go for <laughs> this one right here, like I did before. Put it all over here. I don't think there's much else I can do because... Yeah, so now I'm going to cover my eyes so I can't see anything, but I'm going to change, I'm going to turn on this light again, and then I'm going to change this light back to white. So, alright, I'll let you guys see before I can. How does it look? Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Mine is actually kind of good. Uh, definitely could have used a little blending on like the outside edges a little. This side's blended pretty good. This side is really fucking good. Like, this cut crease could have been a little bit better. I mean, it's not bad. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go back into the two palettes and see like the colors I ended up picking out. So in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, um, that version, the first color that I picked was this one. And then the second color I picked was this one. And then I did the one right, un which is like a blue. Right under it is like a purplish, bluish color. It's like a royal blue color. And the glitters I picked 
this one and then this one which are both pretty green they're not really the same green this is more of a cool and this is more of a warm tone green but together it made a pretty pretty okay color and then for the james charles palette i picked this color first and then i was right about the red and then i picked this color i thought this color was this i thought this was purple but this is like a reddish purple which explains the reddish kind of hint tinge to the outer corner here so it looks more purple than i would have thought and then the glitter i picked was i think this one yeah, yeah, yeah. i picked this one which is just a gold which fit pretty well i will put on lashes and then i will be right back okay this is the finished look usually i would go in and do my eyebrows too just because whenever i do a full look with like color and lashes and all um my eyebrows can get a little bit lost especially when taking pictures but because it's already getting pretty late i'm not going to do that i just thought lashes would be fitting i use the naked drama lashes in the style organza and yeah this is the final look if you like this video Make sure you leave a like and a comment telling me what your thoughts are and how you think you would do. Um, if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike. I don't care. If you actually really like this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on my post notifications because I am posting every day up until Christmas. And yeah, I think that's it. So I will see you when I see you. Bye, bitches. <laughs> oh no.